evening everyone welcome back to more project ozone guys check it out i finished the dave tyrius memorial park it is up and going in a major way oh i love how this turned out uh i will admit this actually is not as memorial ish of a park as i would have dreamed of uh but i did plant two trees one for dave and one for dr tyrius you guys are very welcome they're probably looking down on me from space somewhere actually i know dave is because obviously that's where he was spinning at uh, and they're saying thank you O nexus we appreciate this memorial dave i know you were killed by a zombie dr tyrus i know i killed you uh i do apologize guys it actually turned out okay look at this tons of wheat some carrots some potatoes everything i need for my trip through deep space uh i got my little bridge set up it's not too bad, is it? I, I kind of regret filling it all with crops, but you know, you're going to need the food anyway as you're flying through space. Uh, I have everything I would need. I can make carrot sandwich. I can make... Uh, the potatoes go good at bread? I, I, I actually don't know. Uh, it's not bad. My little sprinklers are set up everywhere. It doesn't look too bad at all, does it? Not too bad. Oh, I'm so proud of this. I love this place. So my plan is, I think, on the next series to go with immersive engineering for power, like biofuel, guys. I tried it here. I failed horribly. But next time, I think that's what I'm going to do. Look at all these things. So I will use a ton of wheat because I'm in the mood for farming in a major kind of way. Uh, and I think this will be my main power source. I'll get some windmills going. I'll get some water mills. I'm talking too fast again because I'm so excited. I can't wait, guys. Oh, I'm super psyched. It's going to be great. I've been working on getting stuff together for the new series. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to start fresh without, like, Project E in there. Whoops. I'm trying to go back to the spaceship. Uh, so I will get immersive engineering as my power. I, I don't know if I should or not, but that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, what's up, Tree? I will call you Dave, and I will call you Dr. Tyrus. You could be... <laughs> it's like I buried... Well, never mind. I didn't bury their ashes because obviously there there's none left dave was eaten i'm pretty sure he became part of a zombie he didn't become one he just he did he gone guys <laughs> he, he did long time and dr tyrus uh he's probably still falling actually because you know the void i'm sure it's a very deep hole <laughs> he's totally gone oh my god poor guy i love how symmetrical this is oh suck it in guys <laughs> so good i can't believe i did this right holy crap look how even everything is the shrubs the trees oh even the little supercomputer thinging down my face except for that one chest at the very end of the hallway i'm looking actually the purple one too it needs to be moved one block to the right whatever guys oh, this keeps reminding me of death the kid from soul eater it's like a cartoon anime or something he would definitely be my spirit animal uh, I got my other wall set up. Uh, of course, it's not built yet. By built yet, I mean the reactor. Uh, that will come eventually. Uh, probably, ne uh, no, 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 not never. I will do this. It is not going to take very long. I just need more draconium. And there has been a way, a solution provided to me by the little Onexians. No, I'm not going to start calling people weird names. That's just... It's just weird. It's like you're an Onexian now, whether you want to be or not. You're a citizen of my country. I don't even have a country. But my plan is, well, not really plan. The staff of Uberus to animate things. Uh, you can actually use it to kind of cheat the system a little bit. Like so. You click it, you animate blocks. Uh, yeah, there is a way using Mind Factor Reloaded. Well, it's not a cheaty way. The staff of Uberus is cheaty because I spawned it in. But using these Pokeballs, you get these. You throw them into something from Mine Factory Reloaded. I can't remember what. Uh, let me find it here. I think it was called the Auto Spawner. Uh, I don't know. Actually, it's been so long since I've done it. I think it was the Auto Spawner, wasn't it? You throw the Pokeball in there, and then it uses like Mob Essence, like the liquid EXP you get from killing them and power and over time it spawns a mob that you have in the safari ball and so you can create infinite of them i know it's here somewhere is it the spawner i thought i remember seeing there's a bunch of autos oh, oh uh i don't think it you know what actually i think it was i'm very yeah no 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 it's definitely auto spawner because i remember in the past banging my head against the keyboard because i needed magma cream and that is literally hard to get 
you know, without flight or anything. You go to the nether, you look around. But, yeah, you would put the Pokeball in. You would get Mind Factor reloaded. Uh, it would automatically kick these things out. By these things, I mean whatever you have in your Safari Ball, which is very cool. And spoiler, guys, when you kill them, they drop what they are. You see what you see, huh? Connect the dots. Suddenly, we got an Awakened Draconium block farm. Uh, unfortunately, it's very cheaty because they use these soul crystals. I don't even know if you can get soul crystals. This might have been disabled. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I am going to do it. Off camera, of course, because there's no point. I, I can't kill the Ender Dragon again. I've killed him a dozen times. Screw that guy. Uh, shoot, I don't have enough to do it. Um, actually, I might. This didn't take very much. I already have two of these little stabilizer dillies. Mm, I have the core. I don't know. I'll, I'll check that later. Hopefully tomorrow off camera I'll get everything set up. We'll get the final piece of the puzzle put into place. Uh, it'll be great guys. Oh, great. Look at the carrots. I love me a carrot sandwich. Oh, it's so good for your eyes <laughs> as you're flying through space. It's exactly what you need. I also got my pure energy set up on the end here. Uh, I was going to get like some type of ore set up with the mining lasers. Screw that. We got pure energy being created here on our ship. That's 200,000 EMC. So what is that? 7, 14, 21. That's like 30 diamonds this thing has already made in the past five minutes. Like I literally just finished building this and I was like, okay, let's get recording. So it's been like 10 minutes now, actually, maybe 15. Uh, so it's generating 30 diamonds every 15 minutes. So that's like 3, 6, 9, 12, 120 diamonds an hour each one of these is making. That's pretty dang crazy, honestly. I am literally making diamonds right now to pure energy guys uh i really don't need anything else because now i could just spawn it in using project e that is definitely something in the next pack i am looking forward to not having someone mentioning it early on like don't use project e it's so cheating and i'm like but look i don't have to craft the same thing a hundred times i just craft it once and bam but towards the end here yeah it has actually taken away a lot of the fun i will definitely work on getting like a good a2 system set up with a ton of like crafters that way I could oh actually the bottleneck in crafting was like with mechanism you needed to make the alloys so it was just a bunch of random processes and they took a certain amount of time a piece so if you needed like 20 circuits you would just have to wait forever for the circuits to finish and oh it was awful luckily mechanism isn't in the next pack either uh, which I'm actually pretty excited about I don't know how I will handle that I've never done that before uh, with mechanism anyway Speaking of mechanism, I probably shouldn't be making one of these because it's probably going to be gone, obviously, whenever I take it to a new pack. But I need to get like a tank built. By a tank built, I mean for oxygen and water. Uh, two things that will be needed greatly in space to go, you know, with my carrot sandwich. <laughs> Very important. And oxygen, well, it's this crazy thing. Like, human beings needed to breathe. Uh, but we're not human in this game. We're actually like a character created by... I, I don't know, guys. I'm not even going to pretend to know. Whoops. Messed that up. So I will get one set up for water. I will get one set up for oxygen. That doesn't sound like too bad of an idea, does it? We'll get... Whoops. I did it again. So many whoopses going on right now. Uh, I think that would be a pretty good idea. Eh, why not? We're RPing to the fullest here. And guys, one of the last things I could think of doing, like one thing that I absolutely need to work on, uh, because as I mentioned before, this is probably going to be, well, never mind. I can't mention that because it's not going to be the last episode, the second to last episode. Tomorrow's episode will be the last. Today, we're getting everything finished up. Uh, in between, I will get the other draconic reactor set up, and I think this will be set up. I forgot what the heck I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we need a crew. I'm trying to think of something because, you know, you're on a spaceship. I can't run this thing by myself. I need, like, a navigator. Uh, I need some kind of, like, moral support, like a, a shrink or something, you know, to, like, ease the tension of the crew because, you know, we're all going to go crazy being stuck on the same ship in deep space. I need some kind of engineer to replace Dave. I need a doctor to replace Dr. Tyrius. There's all kinds of stuff. You can land on an alien planet and get alien scurvy or something. Uh, you need a doctor to help you uh, get over that in a major way. Because what if I catch scurvy? I don't want to die on an alien planet. The new series would end very, very prematurely, and that would just be awful. You know, does X-Mode and Project Infinity kill you forever? Surely not. 
because I bet I could expect to die a lot. And also, are mobs harder to heal? And also, also, no. I think the cool thing about... Oh, am I actually inside the tank? I, I am. Okay. I think the cool thing about Infinity Expert Mode is you could actually craft, like, creative items. I mean, they're expensive, but, you, like, a creative water thing, apparently. A creative energy cell, maybe? So that's, like, infinite power, but I'm actually curious to know if that's balanced. Let's build one over here for oxygen. Now, we'll import liquid oxygen. So we need a crew. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I've been, sorry, I've been really, really trying to do a lot of stuff lately, obviously. Third shift working at night is not the best, it can be said. Uh, what I want to do is upload a save, a copy of my build, like what I'm doing now. But my upload speed is crap, spoilers. I've been trying to get it on, like, MediaShare or something. What was that called? MediaFire? Uh, it's a free hosting service or whatever. You upload, and I'll give out the link. I'll put the link in, like, the first video I ever made. What was it? Minecraft Era 404 or whatnot. I'll put one here. It'll just be the blank ship. And when I'm absolutely done with everything, I will upload, like, my save there at the very, very end. Uh, I don't think I will bring my items over because since other people are going to be looking at it, uh, there's no point. They would be disconnected from the main network, and when you guys try to do stuff with it, it just wouldn't work. Of course, my face is plastered on the back wall. I guess you could break my face and replace it to yours, and, you know, steal my ship and start your own series and be like, I worked nine hours on this ship. It's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, I don't know how you're going to argue that the color green was your choice, because it's actually really, really ugly. Like, most of my friends find it very repulsive to look at. I like green. What's wrong with you guys? It's very... Spacey, techy. It feels like you're inside of a computer, yeah. I feel like this is gonna be another rant session. I should probably just stop that and cut forward a little bit. I don't know, guys. Um. Anyway, back to my computer being so. It still takes me like 12 hours to upload a 23-minute video, which I don't know why I've been making them so long lately. I guess kind of remind myself in the beginning. That's how long. Like I think I actually made a 30-minute video, guys. Oh my god, I wouldn't watch a 30-minute video. Well, a certain YouTubers, I guess I would. That's a lot of time. And I wouldn't actually watch it. What I usually do is I, like, podcast it. You know, I put my headsets on and I close out the window or tab out and do other stuff while listening to them play. Uh, just to kind of feel like I'm involved in the series. Well, this doesn't look too bad, does it? Also, this is not the same height. Uh, unac unacceptable. Uh, absolutely trash. What was I thinking? Uh, actually, you know what? This is kind of boring to watch isn't it it's more or less just me talking at this point the last few episodes have been me talking i'm sorry about that i meant to be somewhat more creative in the making of these last few excuse me a little bit of allergy still kind of sniffly what i wanted to do was like build for 10 minutes like the reactor be like oh guys look this is great and then flash forward five minutes or something and be like okay so i've been here for a while and look it's almost done and say what I'm doing then flash forward again and be like oh ho, ho, it's finally done guys fantastic we uh, and that'll be like how my last episodes were gonna go but no instead they're like staggered like the last episode was called the bridge the bridge was already built I mean the episode before is when I started on that what the heck was I thinking oh guys I don't know okay rant aside give me a minute I'm gonna jump forward just a little all right put this there and bam energy upgrade installed we're back, guys. Uh, I did a little bit of jumping around. I did a little bit of moving. I just remembered I totally scrapped my oxygen setup. I just have a bunch of oxygen generators kicking out oxygen, go into this rotary condenserator, be turned into liquid oxygen, shoved into the little cubey thing, uh, sent back to my spaceship, and we should have plenty of liquid oxygen now. Let everything load in. <sighs> Look at that, that beautiful haze. Should I poke a hole in the side of the container and let it, like, leak out into the air? Is liquid oxygen flammable? Do we want to try that? Of course, no. You remember when I dumped lava into that ocean of fuel and it didn't do jack? That was disappointing, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. I love how there's an effect of, like, water pumping up. Uh, You know what? That's actually a really dumb idea. Where is this water even coming from? I thought my water setup turned off a long time ago. Is it being sucked out of, like, a pipe or a barrel somewhere? Because my brine tower water factory got shut off. Well, no, not completely. Let's scoot these back. These are actually bugging me. So all my water is now in one spot, which sucks for you guys if you actually play my world save. Uh, because now it's all here instead. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, that's the worst. It looks like these don't keep inventory. The Deconic chests do. Ugh. 
just whatever I am so sorry <laughs> like I'm gonna keep everything as is you're gonna log in you're gonna look at I have like 50 tests over the course of like nine dimensions filled full of just random stuff I just gave up on categorizing look this is fine uh, let's put this mk2 here it's not even but whatever I need another one to go underneath my right eye or that be my left eye it would definitely be my left eye uh, whatever be my guest so sorry uh, glad you played or stayed or something oh, I'm being hit by the feels again I feel like we're really on the verge of something big here I can't believe this went 120 episodes holy crap like we just started it felt like yesterday a lot has happened uh, I am very pleased to say this series has turned out very awesome uh, I tell you what we need food and you know what the test type of food is because we don't have meat we just have carrots and potatoes freaking bacon science has proven you can live off of bacon alone look at this epic bacon what are we gonna eat today the same thing I've been eating for the last hundred and probably ten episodes epic bacon uh, also that's another kind of cheaty way because it should have been hard to make but because I have project D installed uh, food problem solved I really wish I could think of something to put here I don't need a smeltery everything's energy like everything on the ship is energy based uh, from my Wi-Fi to my towers my food is actually very physical it's not energy based it could be though I didn't need any of this technically but the day of Tyrus Memorial Park is done I really wish I could think of something to put here in the middle but I like the way it turned out I feel really bad because at one point you remember when I was like let's make those spatial drives guys uh, ow my cat is mauling me <laughs> she really is I'm glad this is done <laughs> you stop cat ow Cats in IRL, guys, they suck. At least they kind of do their own thing forever. Uh, but yeah, Dave Tyree's Memorial Park is done. I can't think of anything else we need. I mean, next time, I think I will work on getting my crew together. Of course, I will bring my domesticated animals, like my three cats and my dog, back on the platform. Uh, I need to come up with names for them, like cool code names. I need to go on, like, a recruitment mission next and get, like, a bunch of new followers and NPCs to join me I need all the help I can get uh, tell you what guys you ready for this are you ready for this old vanilla minecraft Whoa. <laughs> it's so bad it's actually not too bad is it? it has a certain charm to it I don't know why this is a good way to leave off isn't it it's something I've been wanting to do for a while you know turn off my texture packs it doesn't look too bad. I'm actually surprised that. Oh my god, it is actually very, very bad. Uh, everything is. <laughs> I mean, it's very green. Uh, my face still looks. Oh, ugh. <laughs> it looks like a castle or something. Like, these blocks are very dark, aren't they? Holy crap. Oh, why is that there? No, why did it do that? No. Une unacceptable. Oh my god, that texture. Oh, what is it even supposed to be? Never mind. I was going to say, let's switch back. Oh, <laughs> my gooey interface is so bad. I was going to say, let's switch back to, like, vanilla for a little while. Oops, one. And see if maybe I should do my next series with vanilla texture. <laughs> Screw that. It's so bad. Let's go back to the home platform and look. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> that is so bad. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. No, 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 no. I mean, it kind of looks kind of good, but it really doesn't. Cat, no, you're ruining my immersion. <laughs> oh, so much better. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I offended some people. Oh, let's let it all load in. Vanilla textures. <laughs> they may be for some people. Mr. Walrus, I almost died there. Holy crap. Oh, that was a... Oh so adventurous that was oh vanilla I'm sorry if you like vanilla textures I thought about it because I see so many youtubers play with vanilla and it does have a charm to it but uh, uh not for me <laughs> it's just not for me you know Mo mostly because like it's like hey guys let's build a fusion reactor uh that's not a fusion reactor that looks like a pixelated mess that kind of resembles like what your microwave in real life would look like if you smashed it with a hammer and like spray painted it 30 different colors oh it's just it's not good for modded minecraft in my opinion honestly what I play with and what I'll probably do next time will be like a mix between Sortex I don't know if you a lot of you heard of that Sortex Fanavir or whatever it's like the next biggest mod pack up beside this one 
uh, Spax, of course, that is still running. Uh, I'll kind of do a mix. I'll do Sortex Frenivere, maybe with some Spax. Oh, I missed you, 100 sub, man. Uh, fantastic. Guys, I got a lot of work to do. It's time to work on my animation. It's time to work on my intro and my outro and my next series. It's going to be great. Thank you very much for sticking with me. I will see you tomorrow sometime uh, whenever this video decides to be uploaded. Take care.